Yo, that broke his foot last week. We're not gonna give him. We got a special though. guest with us. Though. Yes, oh, yes. I like your track with Dre Boys. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you mean his oh. album? I didn't even check it. Yeah, I know. I didn't know he had a whole album with Dre Bars yeah. either. Now I have research to do oh, when I go shit. home. It's on SoundCloud. Go. Let's see what it is. Private name, private number in the building, yo. Private name, private number. So one thing I want to ask you though. Um, hold on. Let me put this mic here. But one thing I want to ask you though, all right, actually, there's one other thing I want to ask you first. Those are real? <laughs> Definitely real. <laughs> Why you got to rock ice like that though? Let's go on, man. That's, that's light. That's light. That's light. Yeah. Let's go. Why you got to do that to us? Why you got to do that to Oh, hold up. See, now you know Wait, no, 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 hold on, hold on. He's got the Jesus piece too. Oh, hey. Look at that. Yo, that's heavy too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you know why my I'm man wears that mask. I'm sorry, I hope you don't mind me touching your chains. I've just always been fascinated by them. And I've never had enough willpower to save up money to buy them myself. So I, I appreciate other people's jewelry. Yo, holy shit, bro. Your rings, though. Like, your chains are... Oh, boy, yo, you gotta relax. All right, man. Yo, private name, you gotta relax. All right, come on. That's the least. Yeah, no shit. I wouldn't want nobody to know who I was either. Yeah, man. Everything's private, you know? you are not looking for the attention. Well, and that's the funny thing is that, actually, because you were chilling here, right? Right. right. And I was like, oh shit, like when Mans didn't have his mask on, I didn't even realize who was. Oh yeah, I'm I'm your guest. I'm like, oh shit, what's up? What's yeah, up, yeah. right? <laughs> but and then as soon as we went live, I look over and you got this thing over your head. So that was the point I was gonna make, and now you guys kinda already full circled it. Let me ask a quick question. <laughs> right. Is that the, the old Asian lady sun visor that you're rocking right? Brother, around? this is straight from a specific mall. Ah, yeah. Aisle three. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. A tan, a tan associated with Asian people, whether you're like brown or whether you're like Chinese or you're Filipino, they associate that with being poor. Yeah, you know what I mean, so yeah. that's why they wear that. They don't want to be from the barrio, from the the farm. No, I didn't well, know that. This man ain't associating it with being poor because so, that yeah, fucking exactly. ring alone. You might start getting the. I like to like flip to be fair, down, man. To like, be, uh, you could get somebody to kill me for that ring. <laughs> oh, easy. Yo. Like, yo, I'll give you this. Body Malone. Done. Yo. I got a bull in my head next day. I'll body someone for that ring. I so relax. <laughs> what made you want to put on the visor? Like, that's like it's dope. I like it. First, I don't know. I think the ski mask is played out. Yeah. Gosh, um, gosh. And I'm only rapping because like I love music. Yeah. And it's not really for the attention, the fans. Or you don't want people to know like, who you are. For what? You just like yeah, doing I like it. You know what people I already know and I don't want to know them? Do you know yeah. what dope, man? <laughs> I feel that so hard. Because yeah. everyone is yeah. rapping to be yeah. the cool guy. Yeah. And you're like, I don't even want, you're like, it's like an MF Doom almost. Yeah. Like, I don't even no, want like you to know who I am. Like, you're, I like you're that a lot. You're enough in your own life that you didn't need... You don't, you don't need people to praise you for no. like jumping on stage in the music. What, you what don't I, want them to know you. What I realize is there's two different types of people like there's people who lived it early mm. and now it's boring yeah and then there's people yeah. who never got to live it and now they're super excited and doing yeah. it to the fullest gosh so we were always cool as kids you know yeah. I mean? like girls were never nothing yeah bro i'm sorry can i touch your jesus piece one more time <laughs> You didn't well, believe in Jesus. Why you got Jesus Jesus? In money into yeah. Jesus. Like, no, I've always understood <laughs> it. I'd just rather buy coke with my money. <laughs> <laughs> we got that? It's a confession. <laughs> what, what happened? Hey, I thought you hey, had the hey, mind hey, touch. Hey, right? hey. Just because when I He's touch her the gold don't mean that I <laughs> keep the gold. Just stick to the slogan. Man. Not, everything so private. Fuck, I get rid of that shit. Shit. Not Not gold. Gold. Everything touch private, brother. <laughs> Open book, man. <laughs> no, but bro, like, I I'm telling yo, I'm sorry, like, open book, can you just flash the ring one time for that camera? <laughs> Look at this thing, man. I feel like That's I'm looking crazy, into the man. future. <laughs> <laughs> like, that shit is crazy, bro. You I've always loved jewelry. No, do you know why I don't rock jewelry or invest in it? Because mm. as a white kid growing up in a city like Brantford, so we didn't have a whole lot of black people around in high school. Right, right. The ones right. that were, right, kind of clicked up together. They were probably more gangsters than the majority of the rest of us, like white kids <laughs> like me wearing Fubu rock and bandanas. Oh, bro, you don't know how many times I got pushed up against lockers. <laughs> what a fucking 
Yeah. When, when <laughs> gets my neck, oh, people <laughs> dug in my pockets and stole my jewelry. And that, that's what the brothers were doing? Yeah, brothers were stealing my jewelry. <laughs> like, you could have got the whole brigade against them. I had no brigade! <laughs> Fuck, man. You can't just like your outnumber. Fuck! That happens to people like, it's just a majority black school. And no, 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 it happens in majority white schools too. Yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah. Same fucking word. Yeah, because yeah, the white kids are scared of the black kids. No, because I get the stories from my older brother how yeah. you guys used to chase him or all that shit. Call him nigger and all that shit. Yeah. Stomp him down yeah, with you guys' high boots, the high black boots. Yeah, got him. Do you know what's, oh, yeah. do you know what's funny? That's what that is. Now that we talk about this, yeah. though, do you know what's funny about it? Is that, like, there's this weird generation gap where it's like, like, you guys. You're more than 2000, right? Yeah, so like I went to high school, I would have been, 50 Cent in the club was mm. the jam when I was leaving grade 8 into grade 9. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Alright, wow. so that gives, you, that gives you an yeah, idea. Yeah. Like G-Unit was my grade 9, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But so that gives you an idea, like my, my time frame. But it, it, it's, just, it's just crazy because it's like, like exactly what you just said, right? It's like that, that is the definition of like the plight of the 80s. Well, uh, just the plight of, like, you know, the struggle of being black in North America. But the funny shit is, on the opposite side of that spectrum, what nobody sees, the and nobody talks about it because white people are embarrassed to even talk about yeah. it because we're corny and whack to begin with. But if you went to a school and you were into hip-hop, and especially in that period of time, and you, you acted out on that, like, you know, you dress like you're into hip-hop, best believe... So no. Whatever clique of black people around, we're pressing you yeah. and robbing you for your jewelry. That's true. I, bro, I've been robbed for braces, I've been robbed for watches, I've been robbed for silver. Braces? <laughs> braces. Oh, braces. I, was say, I, oh, for braces. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I got but robbed I'm, for braces. I'm just surprised it happened to like a uh, majority Sorry, white man, and, um, school. No, because the white kids are scared of the black kids. Because, yo, I remember a friend of mine. No, is it? No. This is like, nine, like early 90s, because nine, grade 9 it was 92, right? And. I swear to God, it was like 20 years later. My boy was like talking about an incident where he got pressed. I said, "Why didn't you tell me?" He was like he said he was embarrassed. Now our school. It's was, embarrassing, yeah. You you don't want nobody to know what happened. Our school. You're not like, calling your boys like, "Yo, let's go do this." Like, our school is right. a mixed school, right? This so never happened. Of you were West Tech, West Toronto, West same shit, okay. basically down yeah. the street. And I said, well, "Why didn't you tell me?" I would have fucked those guys up, or at least I would have gotten them to fuck yeah. them up. Like they're not supposed to touch you. Cause they, yo, they're like, yo, stay to your, stick to your culture. Oh shit. And all types of shit. Like, what the fuck are you trying to do? Mm. Cause he was one of the few white guys that was dressing like, like you straight hip hop. Yeah. And even when I first met him, I was just like, yo, bro, like, you listen to Public Enemy, like, do you know what you're listening to? And he's like, yeah, I'm not like that. And well, hip hop wasn't so for everybody back but then. But it was. It really wasn't. Well, like, no, what I'm saying but you is, had to be willing it was to, be to be a white dude yeah. to like hip hop in yeah. certain areas of certain countries yeah. and certain cities. Yeah. You had to be you willing. Were literally the, the, you had to be willing to be the outcast. Yeah. And that yeah. is why <laughs> I am so passionate about hip hop and fight for it the way it yeah. does. Because, bro. I have been jumped, I have been robbed, I have been beaten the fucking shit out of, I've had my fucking skull cracked, I've had to go to the hospital, wow. other being a white kid who likes hip hop. And that's in 20, man, that's 2002. Yeah, so it was, only, was it only black kids in Bradford doing that to you, or white kids too? No, there'd be white kids who'd be jealous, you more swagging than them. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Yo, white boy got the black oh, man drip? Black. Yo, you a wigger! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, you catch a deficit for that too. Yeah. Bro, you would catch a deficit for mad shit, bro. Yeah. Plus, I was overweight growing up. Yeah. You catch a deficit for being overweight. <laughs> Yo, bro, I was just catching deficits left and right. Like, I was yeah. just getting jumped my whole fucking life. Uh, and I started wearing bandanas and food and I'm like, yo, fuck y'all motherfuckers. I'm gonna jump you all. <laughs> the only people who could fuck with me was the cliques of black people who would stick together and actually beat me up. Everyone else would fuck with me. You know, it reminds me of that, uh, was it, Malibu? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Malibu was most wild. Yeah. No, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna talk about hip hop stuff though. Cause I grew up in Scarborough, specifically I grew up in Malvern, and um, oh man, someone was said that got kicked out from the book. You got kicked out from the book? I hope not. Somebody no, we probably, got kicked, no. Somebody probably reported some shit. No. Man. So we got hitters, bro. We got when hitters too, man. You gonna take this shit? Yeah, I know who one hater is. Ooh. You want me to say his name? I don't know. Cause he might not be a hater, depending who's who. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm Saturday anyway. Oh, nah, fuck all that nonsense. Man, I don't know what that's family, bro. Got, At the end of the day, to me, that. that's family, bro. Like, I'm, 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 that's family, bro. I just, sure, straight up. I don't give a fuck. You can hit on 
It's family. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I'm just saying this, man. You've got vaults deeper in this than I have. No, I'm just saying, though, like, it's family, bro. Why would you say I can hate? No, you can if you want, but it's still family. Give me the option. I know that. <laughs> he's just giving me the option. I said he can. I said he can. I said he can. So now you're saying he's hating. No, I don't know. You're saying that. I don't, I don't, I don't get that. Yeah, I don't I get that energy. Hate. I personally don't get that energy, but you know what? No. At the end of the day, outside of this podcast life, it's just regular. No, I got mad love for what he's doing, man. Yeah. <laughs> I do No you know uh, Like end of the day yeah. You know what I mean I can critique Whatever the fuck I want Yeah That's my right yeah. As a human being Am I a fan of the podcast Meh bro. Here and there S- Say less bro <laughs> Say less right now No I'm just saying But I, I, I heavily respect What he's doing Yeah It was You know it helps um, is the content for me not not necessarily all the time? All right. That's not why is it relax? I'm not <laughs> hating at I all. That, man. I just want to See, this is the problem with hip hop nowadays. Know what is. I don't want to watch what you say. No, 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 I used to have to get the shit beat out of me <laughs> to like rap when I was fucking I eight that. years old. That. But that. now, God forbid, something that. ain't for me. No, I no no. I'm not saying all of that. You, gotta, you know what I mean? It's just like sometimes you just gotta, just not, you know, just cool. <laughs> we cool. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I, you know, everything is good. I mean, it's being recorded, so, and you know what I mean? Like, it's just like the, just like the Lord Jamar shit. I don't think we're live at this moment, so that's anyway, why I decided. No, we're live. Oh! <laughs> but even with the Lord Jamar shit in general, I didn't want to bring this up once. But we are People live. say, he said this, he didn't say this, he said that, and I'll be popping up videos. No, this is what he actually said. He, he said Eminem to rap. Eminem is a better rapper than me. But you didn't hear that because you only heard what you wanted to hear. This is why this people is why like, yo. And no disrespect, yeah. you're my dude. But yeah. people like him drive me fucking nuts. Why is that? Because you take the face value narrative. Like, I swear to God, you have never even listened to a Lord Jamar interview. You're just like, oh, you know, hey, like, Eminem, yeah, white people's power. Oh, like, easy. shut the fuck up, bro. Like, yo. He was hanging out with R R A. He he said these are the white rappers I like. I don't have no no problem with white rappers. My dude. Yeah. Bro, come on. It is what it is. But after that, come on. Eminem is corny. No, he has his moments. Man, he's corny. When my problem was growing up. You didn't fuck with the skateboarders. You should have hung them. No, up. I did fuck with the skateboarders. Yeah, but in a town where I grew up, skateboarders didn't fuck with the wiggers. Oh, so I was this oh, weird. Oh, oh, oh. Outer body, I got picked on by my best friends and picked on by the other people. I got See, picked on by everybody. To me, to me, Until I started selling ecstasy. Then everyone respected me and bitches sucked my dick. <laughs> See, to me that's weird because because where I grew up in yeah. Malvern, it was like the white kids who, who were into hip hop, who did like hip hop, they were a little bit more into skateboarding as yeah, well. Yeah. So it was like Different it wasn't it wasn't a thing. It was like we're no, right, cool. You know what do you I mean? say actually? Anyone, Anyone really fuck with him was like, you're gonna get a skateboard across the side of your head, so yeah. you might want to shut no, the fuck no, no, up. No, 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 you're right, because the, the early skate videos used like to play a lot of underground, underground hip hop. Yeah. And um, to be honest with you, like, there, there's two avenues to me getting into hip hop. So, the first being, I had a childhood best friend, Spencer Gadoski, and he was a phenomenal skater. And he was a fucking heartthrob. So he was like the dude that like, no matter which girl, no, but whatever girl I was chopping from grade four to grade eight, no matter how close we got, as soon as they got a chance at Spencer, I was dust. Yeah. You know what I mean? So eventually I learned to resent him. I'm like, yo, fuck you. (laughs) You're my man, but fuck you. But no, 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 on the other side of that though. See, um, so you realize yeah, you have brother. friends that really hate you, but you really don't know. The yeah, other guy yeah, was yeah. just being himself, eh? especially yeah. he didn't do nothing to you. No, no, <laughs> he's just my dude. Himself. I love him. He just being himself. Like, he just, he just At the time, I, I wasn't the biggest. I, I wasn't happy with how things turned yeah, out. You, 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 like, I'm just showing you how yeah, life But as a grown man looking yeah. back, like, yo, Spencer, do your thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> It just is what it is, you know what I mean? At the time, I'm like, damn, that's whack. You know what yeah. I mean? It is what it is. Yeah. But are you better off for it or worse? Well, no, the point I'm making is, is that so Spencer was really the dude who got me into hip hop. Yeah. So like, like my brother, I have one brother, he's 12 years older than me. We talk maybe once every three, four years. Um, we, we actually just exchanged texts about a month ago, so I probably won't talk to him until 2000. 
Yeah. Point, yeah. Point. <laughs> Um, like that with my sister, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's my only sibling, you know, I looked up to him my whole life, and now he's just like this ghost that, you know, decides to say what up when he wants to say what up, and whatever, it's cool, I pretty, and, you know, I accept it. it. Is, and that's why I don't hold anybody I know as friends to a certain standard yeah. worth of shit. It's like, yo, bro, I don't even know my brother, so come on. You want to be my friend? To be Fuck. fair, he is 12 years older than you, yeah. so at the time when he's like... Don't give a shit, bro. No, but you gotta understand, at the time when he's out there, like, trying to, trying to get with women, you're trying to watch Pokemon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he was trying to get me into women when I was watching Pokemon. Yeah. He used to be like, yo, bro, you got any girlfriends? Yeah, I was in, like, grade three. I yeah. was like, no, he's like, you gay. Uh, yeah, I knew about that. <laughs> I'm like, uh, what is gay? <laughs> like, you're trying to be innocent kid, he's trying to corrupt you. So my cousin. Oh, yo, my, my oh, brother corrupted God. the shit out of me, which is why I love hip hop. So, let me explain. So, so my man Spencer G, the heartthrob, he had a brother who was like three, four years older than him. He had a CD book. So we used to always go to Spencer's crib. We take the CD book. Yeah. Go take the you know the portable CD players you used to have, and you could plug them in any outlet, whatever, right? We go outside Spencer's crib, plug them in the back far corner of the house. You know what I mean? So his parents couldn't hear what we were listening to. Take CD book. We bump in Wu Tang Forever. We bump in Super Duper Fly. Yeah, yeah. We bump in. You know what I mean? Whoa! Like the our favorite thing was to bump. I fucking. I'll fucking lay your nuts on a fucking oh, dresser sure. just to yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Spread out the shit, yeah. right? Hit them shit with a spike back. Like, boom, blah! Yo, I'll fuck it, I'll fucking hang you. I'll see the ass, you fuck it. They keep feeding you, they feed you, they feed you. Like, yeah, that was like shit, you know what I mean? Being in grade four, hearing that shit. <laughs> we, listen, we watched <laughs> South Park on our spare time. Yeah. Now we, can, now we can get South Park in our music? You know what I mean? The first bad rap CD I ever bought. Days. My dad bought me yeah, 36 no, Chambers. Yeah. Cause do you remember Cash Converters? Yeah. yeah. So we went to Cash Converters and I seen Wu-Tang album. I remembered it from Spencer's brother's CD book. I grabbed it. It had, it had the explicit in the corner. Yeah. So I held my thumb over it. Yeah. Presented it to my dad. Like, Can you buy me the CD? Spencer's brother has it. It's really good. He looks at it. My thumb's over the explicit. He's like, all right, cool. Yeah. I took that home, bro. You would not believe how many times I listened to it. Oh, fuck it. Oh, fuck it. Uh-huh. So you asshole. Like to this day, like, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> From the land of Shaolin. Nice. The Wu Tang Clan strikes again. The Rizza, the Jizza, old dirty bastard inspects a deck. Raekwon the chef, you god, ghost face killer, and M-E-T-H-O-D, man, M-E-T-H-O-D, man. I can tell you about when Method Man came out, I think I was in grade seven, yo, we were carving big M's and big W's in our yeah, desk. Yeah, outside down. Oh, man, yeah, the outside one for M's, and then, and then the G next year for Genius, but we were carving them shits into our ah. yes, Hey, you, get off my cloud. Yeah, can we not agree that it is the best song in rap history? That is the worst song in rap history. No, I mean, uh, that song is horrible. I love that, I love that joke. But it's fire. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, if you go back and listen to that whole album, sonically, it's a fucking mess. No, 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 stop, 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 no, no. 36 Chambers. Is arguably the best hip hop album of all I'm fucking not time. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Forever is trash. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Forever is garbage. Forever is garbage. Well, for, for, keep down, keep, keep down. Is it better than Illmatic? Nah. That's 36 Chambers and Illmatic can fight for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it better than Illmatic? Nah. 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 Nah.
Fucking DXL hard white. You know that joint? The one with locks and shit on uh, oh, this Dark and Hell's High? Mm. I think, yeah, I think I remember. That was that joint. To that album. That's like Reservoir Dogs of DMX. Stop being greedy. I put Stop being greedy on. I just want to fuck. That, 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 that dog shit album was hard too. Oh, yeah. The ODB. Dog shit? Yeah. Team. That one was hard. Okay. Yo, one more road to cross. This whole, this whole shit was, was dope. I go back and fucking bump. Gotta live my life like it's one more move to make. I remember, I'm gonna like 6 a.m. Check this. I just remember the first time say I was making out dog, and I was like making out with a chick. And I'm like, hold on, did this dude just fucking say he, he rolls out like Optimus Prime? Like, I remember like making a hard body and stuff. I'm like, hold on. This motherfucker just meant to like reference Optimus Prime and around. Who is this motherfucker? That means you just heard him tell K to suck his dick as well, too. Hey, I was, I was, I was making out with a chick on that, you know? Like said, Speaking of K sucking DMX's dick, what? What? K solo? That's who you're talking about. Oh yeah, you get at me, dog. That K sucking my dick. You don't want that K. Yeah, which is like ten years later. Yeah. But yo, you don't want that K solo interview. Oh no, I want it so bad. I love K solo, bro. K solo is so dope. People don't. People sleep on K solo. I think he's a producer. K solo is dope, man. Yo, come on. I never, I never don't say I. Yo, fugitive. Die. The fuck out of here, man. Die with him Bro, because he I, didn't put out enough shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I, I heard him, I heard him around the same time I heard Red Man. Red man and I, I drifted towards Red Man. Like, that's how that, Red Man, Red Man, they're fucking all. Your brothers or cousins? No, they're not even related. Oh. They're not. But they got <laughs> the same <laughs> fucking they did that. It's yeah. like that joint. But Red Red does because Red goes Paul K. Sullivan's big brother. Yeah. Yeah. They look exactly like that. I'm gonna say amateur. Damn it, y'all! My phone's jumping off! Clips grabbing their ass cheeks, yelling, dropping off! Man, you're a random fucker. You didn't pop at all with K-Sol! 360 degrees, Rob, to pull this up off the charts! This guy was locked in a dungeon in fucking Bradford, knows every fucking yeah, thing. Yeah, I know. Every yeah, thought. Thought. Sorry I'm a bigger hip hop yeah. head than everyone else. No, no. I, know, I know all those letters. The point is that uh, I just don't care anymore like that. Did you that? put the Ram in Dodge? <laughs> Ross Klein <laughs> and Bamba Klein? <laughs> That's such a trash case yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. But then, then Red comes in and kills it. That be really The fuck that can spot. Oh I'm my god. So what the that record came on, man. Boy. Red oh Man, my. Red Man's crazy. No. Honestly, I think you could, you could probably put on. Um, you need to start reminiscing. You could probably put Dare's Dark Side. Alright, yo, let's listen to that. I love it. You can't put on another rapper's music. We're gonna fucking get kicked off. Yeah, yeah, don't put that shit. They're gonna suck my dick. Don't do that. Or edit it out afterwards. man. But I, you know, let's, 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 let's move to 2020. Because yeah. honestly, Man, I love the 90s. Mm-hmm. Right, well, I, I got a question. I got a question. <laughs> Have you ever, like, performed at a venue yeah. and then, because no one knows it's you, and then you yeah. jump off stage and you heard someone talking mad shit about the person who was just on stage? <laughs> <laughs> you ever, like, no, caught anybody? That, that hasn't happened yet. Okay. Okay. But I have come okay. off stage and came and hollered at people and, and they didn't know it was me on stage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, what happens yeah. when that day happens? That's crazy. Bro? What happens what? When that day does happen, what happens? Everything happens. Oh. <laughs> Do you know like, there's a DJ in LA called Unknown DJ who's been doing this shit for like 40 years. He's been down with like NWA, down with, with Alonzo, all those dudes, and nobody to this day has ever fucking seen his face. He's like Banksy? Dude, the only people who know him are like... People that know him. Yeah, He's like the Banksy of DJ. Yeah. yeah. There's a big <laughs> guy in LA called Unknown DJ. Like no one knows what the fuck this guy looks like and he's been killing it. <laughs> That's years, so lit. That's crazy. That, I, I like that idea, man. Just the That's way you so said it, too, like, like, you didn't want, basically, you don't want this shit to go to your head. You want, yeah. you want to do this It's not even about going to my head. I just want to be regular. Like, yeah. you can't even go outside no more because you want to do music. But she nowadays, That's man. Nice. But, no, bro, man. you can't really go outside and be normal. With oh, stop regular. this, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I feel like, honestly, I feel like that shit's your fucking Wednesday. Yo, can I look at it one more time, though? You have a whole other okay. setup. Yes. Don't fucking kill me, bro. I just want to look at it one more time. That's dope. Maloney might body you, man. He put all that energy out there. <laughs> no, that's a nice ring, man. <laughs> Yo, the way he ironing and know. shit. Just know uh, if someone does come running up on you that thing, Maloney. Trust me. Just I've been robbed for jewelry enough in my past yeah. that I'll never fucking care about it again. But yeah. I appreciate when someone else has you know, You know what the thing is, too? Mm. A lot of things that I have, people think I care for it more than I really do. Right. Yeah. I've lost and got and been through so much shit where it's just like, yeah, that's so dope. Fall yeah. in love with it and watch how long you have it. Yeah, I like yeah, your actually, yo, I like your super jacket too. Respect, man. I said super to my brother. He's like, what? Supreme? I'm like, nah, nah super. Like yeah, skate, yeah. skate clothing. <laughs> yeah. 
It is I know, but shoes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, same, yeah. Super shoes used to be the shit, and they don't really like make them Big, more they're like super that. comfy, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, well padded. Yeah, they're like, the they're like Air Force meets skate shoes, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so like as a skateboarder, like Supras were... I'm yeah, on, Supras are dope. Yeah. Yeah. And you get a lot of color schemes, and they're they're affordable, so you can match outfits with yeah. them. They're like Converse, except Converse have gone up in price. Well, even Supreme. Supreme's a skateboard company, too, and yeah. Dipset, who really, like, put the money Pop them off. Right. If I'm not mistaken, Supreme is an offshoot of Zoo York, which, like, I would... Are they? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure Supreme's an offshoot of New York. No way. I'm, I'm almost absolutely. New York is so mainstream. And so but they fun. weren't. They like they weren't up until early 2000s. Like New York. No, yeah, they were underground before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then they, and then they got bought out. I'm, I'm gonna look it up right now. If Supreme is affiliated with New York, shout out um, Recipes Herald from Kids. If you remember Kids, he was Kids. Yeah, you remember? Holy him? shit, bro! Do you remember the black guy, Harold? Yeah! So he was sponsored by New York. He Holy was shit. Sponsored. He died. He died of a cold. Remember Kareem Campbell? Yeah. Well, he's dirt, DGK, right? Uh, that was no, that was that. DGK is um, Stevie Williams for Philly. Okay, who the fuck? What was. um? Who the fuck did I just say? You said Kareem Campbell. Kareem Campbell, who was his uh, sponsors? I don't know. They, oh, it was New York, wasn't it? New York might have sponsored I think it might have been New York, actually. Uh, let me find out if Supreme is a part sure. of New York. Green Campbell is a man, bro. Yo, skate culture was so cool back in the day, man. Like, yo. Supreme, Supreme is New York. Do you know what the cool now? thing about, like, before the internet was? Is that if you liked something. You yeah, man. Supreme, they have Supreme shirt. Like, fucking Supreme is just a hot shit of New York. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, man. You gotta be kidding me, bro. Nah, bro. I'm not, I knew that shit. So, so they just sold that, what, the, the Zoo York side? <laughs> the, 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 the I think so. And I'm they kept sure that for their exclusive size? What is it? Yo, it's just the Zoo York shot. Downtown, right? No. Yeah. Yeah. Almost 100% sure. Okay, I'm coming downtown. Almost 100% sure. Like, where? Where? Here? I'm on the skateboard zone. It's like Stussy, yeah, man. Stussy is one of those brands, too. All those what fucking streetwear brands started oh, pretty much from like Well, they're skate, they're skate brands. Like, I, don't know how, that became I don't know how much money this is. Streetwear yeah. Brands. yeah. Essentially, yeah, that's exactly They basically, they, they in, in huh? the hype beast era with Jordans and the, the rise of the internet oh. and stuff, these okay. exclusive skate brands became part of right. that culture. Well, yeah, there was, I mean, there was like, just still yeah. the young and re reckless. Like, let's not lie, a pair of fresh Jordans yeah. with a, with a fresh... Yeah. Supreme right, hoodie? Yeah. Doesn't look dope. Hype beast wear it because it makes them hype beast. I don't think I don't think but I've ever Supreme was never meant to be rock and joy. I've never rocked it actually just like Supreme to be honest with you. I've never rocked Supreme either because I'm just I'm completely against everything. I do have to that commend them though. Supreme is just a fucking. No, I do have to commend them because yo, these motherfuckers made bricks and just stamped the word Supreme on the bricks and people bought that. What about? Shit. Tell Virgil right, Virgil on oh, brick! Yo, that shit is fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, can we agree that West Side Gun? Yeah. Like, and this this goes to the example that oh, I use. My boy's onto them. My boy's onto them. He hasn't, he hasn't listened to anything since he's listened to fucking Griselda. Yo, like the last three months. The thing is, like, we have this conversation all the time about dudes who can rap, but dudes who can't. Yeah. But Griselda is the perfect example of hip hop history, where sometimes the dude who can't rap. Is the best rapper. Yeah, yeah. He reminds me of um He's like fifty guy. cent. No, no, no. He reminds me of fucking um the guy. Fifty was the best rapper in G man. Well, well aside from Tony A or everyone else I would spend him. Was a guy from Underground <laughs> King. King. Fucking game was better. Fucking Young yeah. Buck is better. Fucking oh. Lloyd Banks is better. Ayo. You always know he's gonna say Ayo. Do 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 and that's cool. Ayo! Ayo. Before he's rap do 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 but he does. Yeah. I like, I like it. But I just, when I hear him say his hey, voice, yo, I know he's. Hey yo, before he starts rapping. At the window with the musket, <laughs> the Russian. Yeah. Only five got hit. But he looks like he's wanting everything. Yeah. That's what it looks like. No, he's got drip in his voice. Yeah, he's bro. super dripped out, man. Like, like bro. Long. Like to, to be honest, he is long. so like <laughs> like. As far as like outfits go and stuff, yeah, he, he is out. so dripped out yeah. that he's actually not dripping. Yeah. Like you know when people go out of, like like Thurston Howell with polo. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? When it's like you go so far out of your way to drip a certain way saw, that it actually isn't dripping anymore. Saw, it looks I just saw Rayquard wearing a Sabres jacket. 
Our Greg guy, Vaughn is famous for the same thing. Same like you, you, I, look, I haven't seen nobody Greg outside Vaughn. of Buffalo buy any Buffalo gear. Now you wearing a Sabres jacket? Come on, man. You got that from Zelda. Shut up, my boy. The thing is, boy down yeah. Buffalo. Shut up. Some like, teams are able you know, to make, I used to, I used to like, Buffalo kids like when you try too hard, hard to drip, it's not a drip anymore. Yeah. It actually looks whack. Yeah. And to be honest, that is West Side Gun. Like, West Side Gun, to me, anytime I look at him, I'm never like, yo, he's dressed sick. Like, he always looks like a buffoon. I wouldn't say that. I just said Well, that. I wouldn't say it because I don't want to get my head shot up. No, no, no. no. I, I, I know what you're saying. Yeah, I said it. I know what you're saying. It. But. Like, yo, that video they did with yeah. Hype Williams. Yeah. Like, no. Westside Gun looks like a fucking idiot no, in that no, video. With this fucking you... coat that's 20 sizes no, yeah, too big. But, you know, guys, it's not yeah. dripping, it's I trash. Know that. I understand what you're saying. But this saying. is what I'm saying. No, I understand is what that you're saying. Is that some people drip too hard <laughs> that it actually isn't a drip anymore. It's actually detrimental to the drip. <laughs> it froze. It's just like. You know yeah, what I mean? He's got his style and it's working for him, man. Yeah. yeah. No. The thing is, I think he's gonna him as an artist and gonna, as a person a lot of has people. so I mean, much art. Yeah. Bro, dude art, can man. come out wearing a dress and it would be dripping. Oh, God. Because he, as an individual, is yeah, I, dripping. I wonder if you won't get that energy, though, with this. I don't give a fuck, I know man. Man, regardless, Once again, Griselda, everyone's dudes. interviewed them. There's nothing to talk about. Shout out to Griselda, dudes. There's always some talk about. I'm talking, but they're killing it. But but I do want to say this. I'm not missing it. I do want to say this. To be honest with you, like the hip hop combos on the show, you know what I'm saying? I love them. Sometimes I hate them. But I have said this. I said this last year, and I'm saying it now. Royce the Five Nine is currently the best motherfucking rapper in the game. Um, and I think people are just starting to notice how good he actually yeah. is. Yeah. And it's crazy because if this was ten years ago, they'd be like too old. I've been saying that since now, time one. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that first Prime album. album Bro, yeah. a lot of people, even probably all of you will disagree with me, but First Prime, Prime 1 <clears throat> is in the ranks of Illmatic for best top, top Ooh. 10 best rap albums of all time. You put Illmatic so high. Prime 1. Dude, I put Illmatic up there. Illmatic's easily top. Prime 1. Top five, top yeah. Bro, top five. yo, yeah, fuck it. Illmatic. Let's not make it about Illmatic. Oh, so Let's it. make it about Say Prime that. One. Yeah. Prime One is one of those albums I feel like you can go back in 20 years and you'd be like, whoa. I feel the same about Booker. I slept on something that yeah. was very important. Yeah. Prime One is an absolute masterpiece. Prime Two, now I don't want to use these words because I want the premiere interview. I want a second Royce interview. They're, Royce is one of my favorite rappers. Premier is God to me. Yeah. But Prime 2 is trash. And do you know why it's trash? Because it's not trash. It's great compared to a lot of other things. But it's just not what you got. But Prime 1 is such an absolute fucking masterpiece that, like, I would rather you just not even give me another album. Crazy. Prime one. Yeah. So you went there. Have you like I personally haven't taken it in yet, but I can You like, have it? No, bro, I got shit to do. Like <laughs> it is it. Right now I'm giving up six years I ago. Got, bro, I got a lot of shit to do. But this thing, I don't deny Royce's talent because Royce is ill. Royce is good. I free to take the pole pit. Like he made ocean like mid like, Pit forty you know, below spit. You know what I mean? So it's like Oh, yeah, I don't expect him to drop shit. Yeah. It's just I didn't really take it in. I took oh. it one, two singles here and there and shit, but fuck the singles. Who oh. checked it? Who, who's, who's, who's got your vote of confidence? Like, who you checking for the moment? Which you put at the top of the game right now? In all of rap? In, in general. You can say all of rap, just in general. Like, who's, you know what I'm saying? Who's your top dude to check for? Because it, be, it could be reggae, it could be rock. Like, probably mm. you can get you know, all rock and roll ahead. Who do I check for? To be honest, I listen to some weird shit. I like like that pop shit and all that. Like I listen to a lot of pop music. I like DJing and, pop music more than I like DJing hip hop sometimes. Yeah. And I'm up like iTunes right now. That dance monkey shit stuck in my fucking head. But, and I'll go back and play some like Alanis Morissette and yeah. all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. 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 I think she just um, she just put out an album. She's about to put out an album or something, no? Yeah, she's I don't know. Something new, I think. Yeah. Or she just did. She's talking about no. Someone she talked about drugs. She's been back in the day and 
all that shit. Something like that. But shout out to Lance for set jagged, jagged little pill. Yeah. That's crazy, man. That is nice. crazy. She yeah. came out as a little pop artist first. Yeah, she did. She yeah, had no, she didn't really come out like no, no, no. Yeah, I yeah, was too hot, too cold. Yes. You know that track? Yes. No, what's that? Track? That was a line of was set, bro. Back up dancing. Oh, it was too hot. Yeah, yeah she was being deep cool the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. We had to type that up. What are you talking about? Like a line of set before Jagged Little Pill. No, but before Jagged Little Pill, she had that. What's the song about um cheating on your your spouse? With the scratch nails in your back and like. She wouldn't do that alternative but rock. She was a pop, or she was a pop artist, and then she switched her paradigm yeah. and, and came at it with the whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, you're gonna blow your mind if you didn't know that earlier. Now you know. That's all I know. You wanna know? You know that. Yes, you wanna see. know? It's the same album, though, isn't it? Dude, this ain't pop, bro. This is cool. Oh, it's from the same Jagged Little Pill album. This is before Jagged Little Pill. Okay. This right. motherfucker. Don't worry, you can cut that off. Yeah, I can cut it out. No, don't do that. You ain't, we're live on YouTube now. Don't. That is not cut us. Oh my god. You don't understand how the algorithms work on the Oh, I, trust me, I understand how they work. Play another person's shit. I understand how they work very well. You're violating turns and blah blah blah. Nah, just sometimes I just. You're getting demonetized. Nah, this is the joint, bro. You know 1991, what? 1991, man. That's her. No. All right, let me take this from the other room. Yeah. <laughs> this, I didn't know. That's she, the first record she I didn't know there was shit before you ought to know. <laughs> you knew about that shit? No. So you have to learn something. You all knew about, about it. I didn't. Yo, man, I grew up to Toronto. How am I a white kid that didn't know about this? All right. I knew about it. You were your age. You would have been like 91, bro. Like I heard the yeah, track, but I didn't know what's on. I heard the song, but I didn't know what's on. I can recite the bad album better than any of you. So don't tell me about age. <laughs> but you, the Bad Albums is classic. Oh I my guess. god, bro. Can we not agree it's Michael Jackson's best album? I guess. I don't know, man. Come cool. on, man. I mean, there's. You hit him with bad. Perspectives. You hit him with Speed Demon. Yeah, yeah. You hit him with Liberia. You got, yeah, got a lot of joints on there. You hit him with Man in the Mirror. Diana. Oh my god, Diana. Diana. Diet. Bro, like, why you gotta skip to the end? You I gotta relax. I don't, I don't know the album. Uh, you track. gotta relax. You know, after one, two, six. Now I gotta choose if I wanna listen to DMX or Michael Jackson on my way home. <laughs> I, I take Michael Jackson all day. Yeah, you would it. Hey, hey. DMX might teach you something on the way home that you forgot. Gang, but I'm upset I didn't know this existed. Uh, well, now you know. Now you know. So Landis Moore said, what else, like, who else are you used to that would, that would shock people to find out, like, yo, what the fuck She had pop like, shit, shit before yeah. you ought to know. Yeah. I listen to a lot of weird shit. Well, you like weird to Apple? people. Huh? You like Fiona Apple? Criminal. Fiona Apple? I don't know that oh is. Criminal? That's a fucking three. No, no hand touch. I'm I know. Touch. <laughs> that is Christ. I don't all right, know I'll fucking is. coronavirus all over. I like Shania Twain. <laughs> Shania Twain? Yeah. Okay, okay. Bam, bam, bam. Shania. I'm not even going to lie. Shania Twain, when I, when I first started, you know what I'm saying? Like, when Shania you're like 12 years old and you start doing what 12 year old is doing, <laughs> Shania was one of those girls. I like that, Nelly Furtado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Furtado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about Furtado. Yeah. Yeah, for Tyler's dope, bro. Like, you can't deny, yeah. deny her. She's dope. Y'all got me on the tip. Um, now I have to go into another room hey, and listen to okay. a song. And I have to. What, what else? You see, to a lot of female vocalists. I have to listen to this song. Um, I can't yeah, run. but I like I like the dream. Ross okay. Okay. The old dream. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's hard. Okay. Well, if we're talking back to hip hop. Yeah. Um, it's hard when it comes to hip hop because they're not necessarily always giving you the same. Right. Feeling. Yeah, no, I feel you, I feel you. When it comes to that genre, you're gonna get what you're asking for. Yeah. So. No, I like that because because I mean, growing up in high school, I got a lot of flack for being a black dude who a would bump rock from time to time. Dude. Come on. Um, I catch flack for being a black guy who you know listen to rock and would ride a skateboard. You know what I'm saying? And it was like once I kind of. <laughs> You know what I mean? It was like as soon as I left high school, a lot of those same people who would give me flack for even liking like R and B, for example, or yeah. just liking different music, they were the ones who were like, yo, tell me about this music. You know what I mean? And and I'd have to like break it down for them or whatnot. You know what I mean? So just to hear you say, yo, you're into that. Well, you it depends where you grew up too, because yeah, exactly. my household had a lot of sisters. Yeah. Ah. So they were playing a lot of yeah, the shit. All that, this shit. Yeah. yeah. You grew up in Toronto? I did. Okay. okay. Yeah. What part of Toronto you grew up in? Scarborough. Oh, that's a side. <laughs> and then you said, what part of Scarborough? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Which part of Scarborough? Well, that would be private. 
Okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Andrew, which one? Malvern, I lived in, like, my mom lived in Galloway for me. Yeah. During the time in Malvern and Galloway are beefing, so it's like, I gotta go visit my mom in enemy territory. I lived in Warnell Court before I moved to Malvern, no, you know what I mean? I was really, really young. Um, my aunt stayed in Tuxedo, aunt stayed in Glen Morgan, so I feel like, you know what I mean? I touched yeah. almost. But everybody in Scarborough has to bounce around Scarborough. That's it's what been, it is. Yeah. My grandparents lived at Markham and Eglinton, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, or Mark, like, Brittany, so. You just you knew everybody, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Even if I didn't go to school, I think Ray, like probably one third of Scarborough's related uh, through breeding yeah. with each other's baby moms. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow, somehow. You're related somewhere, right? Yeah. When I, my cousins lived in Asian Court for the longest time, and I used to visit them, and I didn't know about Scarborough, mm -hmm. living downtown. So, always, my, I, when people, I used to hear about Marvin and all these places, I'd be like, where is that? Yo. Whatever, I went there suburban like it. Mm -hmm. But Malvern was known as AIDS Town. Yeah, but the, oh, <laughs> I remember the that, days. Especially the nineties. Oh, yes. I remember the nineties. That's what they were labeled yeah, as. Yes. Yeah, that's what I remember. That's what I remember. Any girl from Malvern had AIDS. Oh, wow. I remember that shit. Wow, it's AIDS. Okay. <laughs> it's like, when did I die out? That died out after high school, but all of high school, that was the top. <laughs> Yo, I remember the hearing, the hearing that shit, but my perception of Scarborough at the time, yeah. because I didn't really know other than my, my, my cousins, was that it's a suburban to me. But Melbourne? I didn't know, yeah, that, no, 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 that, that was Scarborough in general. Oh, yeah. But then, as time went on, I started meeting more people in Scarborough, mm -hmm. I was like, there's some mad hoods out here. Yeah, yeah I had no After. idea. I was like, what? Yeah. I had no fucking idea. But Scar Scarborough was uh, a picker in one time. Just yeah. land, mm. yeah. See, I remember, I remember like thinking like, I remember like Halloween time, you want to go to Pickering because that's where you would get full chocolate bars and pop cans. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I thought people were rich in Pickering. They had mansions. Yeah. Yeah. You go to Pickering now and you're like, man, this place is shit. Pickering yeah. is right there. Just and and it seems so far back then. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> <it's> <laughs> shit. Holy fuck. I remember when there was like a mass, mass. This was a little bit early. So, there was white people who stayed in Malvern and those are the ones stayed in Scarborough and those are the ones who really got into hip hop and I guess eventually went through the wigger thing and then yeah. and it kind of made it out of that yeah, way, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm. But there was a mass, mass white exodus when I was probably in grade four, five, and six where they all went to Bowmanville, Ajax, yeah. and Whitby and I'm like, dude, that's so fucking far and yeah. now you're just like, it's just down the street. It's not Pickering. Yeah, it's just down the street. Man. But I remember when that happened, I remember like, I remember grade two and three and four, you can see my school pictures, a lot of white kids in Scarborough. Mm -hmm. Come grade six, come grade five, six, <laughs> grade seven, grade eight, they're gone. Okay. And then you had like one or two, yeah. you know what I mean? And their parents were there from the 70s. And they their were parents there. left, yeah. 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 They, they left, were yeah. They were, their house was paid for, yeah. they're not fucking leaving. Like, they're yeah. still there now, yeah. you know what I mean? But, yo, there was such a crazy mass white fucking exodus white of That's people problem, white leaving around, I would say, around the time the Blue Jays won the first World Series, yeah. I was like, the fuck? They're all there in your class, and then the next year you come back after summer and you're like, Yo, oh, where's Tom? Where's Curtis? Where's Mark? Where's Mark? Where's Mark? Where's Mark? They're gone, yeah. bro. And they just they, they ain't come back. My mom took them out to Whitby. Yo, they went to Bowmanville, they went to Curtis, yeah. they went to, Curtis, yeah. they went to and all the black people eventually so moved out there. Now they're gone enough from out there, too. Yeah, and now they gotta keep moving. There was a mass Chinese exodus when they went yeah. to Markham and yeah. Richmond Hill and. and but that's almost just down the street. It, it, yeah, when you're in high school, yeah. you realize more than just down <laughs> right the street. There. But when you're in grade school, Pickering and Ajax, it's yeah. pretty fucking it's far. far. I remember even moving from from Mornell Court to Malvern, and I thought that was super far yeah. to find out, like, yo, I can ride my bike. Yeah, It'd take 15 minutes. <laughs> but I, I, I thought it was far because it was it was a different highway stop. You know what I mean? It was like yeah. instead of getting off at Morningside, I'm getting off at Nielsen now. Yeah, yeah. So, that's mm -hmm. how it is, man. But it's interesting. Scarborough's an interesting place, man. Scarborough, when I look at Scarborough now, mm -hmm. I look at Scarborough now, especially when you, when you see like a lot of movies like Baby Boy and Boys in the Hood and stuff, yeah. I feel like Scarborough in a way kind of had that L.A. type vibe. Scarborough had, had a had story the and it didn't get, to, it, get told. I think Scarborough's yeah. a place Nobody where got you have to drive story. if you really want to get around. Yes. That's how L.A. is. Yeah. yeah. That's how Mr. Salga is. Yeah. Like, yes and no, yeah. because it's not really too much to Scarborough. Yeah, you know, I know DP that. to what? Morning? DP, yeah, but what I'm Middleville? saying is... Middleville? Yeah. You, but you, you drive yourself? If you drive, it's, it's, a, it's a lot quicker than you can take that bus. Well, definitely. <laughs> I'm, I'm just comparing it to being in Durham. Yeah, yeah. Durham's <laughs> a different thing on Durham. Well, the thing, thing about Scarborough that sucks is like, if you live in Scarborough, for example, and you don't have a car, it can take you two hours to get downtown. You know what I mean? And you're still in the same fucking city because yeah. there's no subway out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, but then sometimes driving it can take you two hours to get, 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. you want a DDP and it just boom yeah. lock. You want a 401 and it's gridlock. It's yeah. like, and and that's how time, LA is, bro. If you're not on the I road like by like 6.30, you're trying to get anywhere in the morning when, when kids are still going to school? Nah, forget about it. Like, yeah. Well, it's hot. You're not getting anywhere. It's going to take you forever to find I just am so glad. I'm glad I, I was raised downtown. Because mm. it's just walking. <laughs> yeah. Like, you can walk everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> No, that, 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 that's true, you know what I mean? Like, I not just walk, got You're not walking to Scarborough. I tried that once. I forgot where it was. <laughs> I was in the Chinese part of Scarborough, and I think in Birchmont or whatever. Yeah. And I was walking, whatever. And I was like, all I see was Chinese shit for like, It's been a good minute walking in Scarborough. Yeah, I'm like, yo, when is this going to end? Mm -hmm. No, you're, you're not, you're not yeah. wrong with that. Because, again, like, I moved out of Scarborough to East York, and I was like, yo, I don't need my whip. I ditched my whip. Yeah. I just got a whip again for the first time in like eight years. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's like, if I'm going downtown, yeah. like if I'm going down to Queen or whatever, like I don't even want to bring my whip. Because A, I don't want to park and it's like, I could walk in, you know what I mean? Yeah. I could almost get downtown from East York yeah. faster than I can driving. Yeah. And I could walk everywhere. But for East York and Scarborough and whatever, no, I'm not trying to go back to the bus, man. Like, I don't, I don't want to do it. One man. time I walked from downtown to like, Midland and was it Midland and Kennedy. Was it How long did it take you? It took me a bit, but that, it wasn't it wasn't a bad walk, man. <laughs> from what part of downtown you talking about? Downtown Central. Downtown yeah. So from Young, you walked to Midland walked and to Midland. Kennedy. Yeah. Oh my God, you yeah. must have been killing me. Nah, bro. it was a great walk, man. It was a, it was a good. Experience. You know, because you go over, I think you go right across Bloor, and just down <laughs> forth, and then whatever. Oh yeah, once you get the down forth, you're yeah. Yeah. Right. The furthest I remember one time, me and DT. We walked, well, we were at a festival out in Durham, and I, I guess we didn't have, like, I got a ride out there, and my ride must have left or something, so it was me, DT, um, Nathan Bay, and a few other people, and we walked to go catch the bus where we had to go, so one area of Durham took us next, it was like, I swear, like a two-hour walk, and then we caught the bus, we wanted to get in Toronto, and all the buses were, like, shut down from St. George Station, wow. so I remember me and DT walking from, like, St. George all the way to, like, Broadview. And then I was just like, yo, I can't, I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we're walking way too long. Like, yo, I'm, I'm fucking, man. I'm just, I'm hopping a cab or something. So I just hopped a cab yeah. or whatever. Like, that's crazy, man. Yeah. The walk from downtown to Midland and, and Kennedy, bro. Yeah, I was just in that vibe. It was a barbecue, uh, and I was like, yo, I'm just going to walk here. Was it that. Jamal's? No, nah, no, nah, it was okay. um, this place we call Millennium. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if it's still. Yeah, even to walk crazy. from Markham and Lawrence to Markham and Eglinton. Mm. It's gonna take you a good yeah. 40 minutes. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a minute, man. <laughs> it's only one yeah, stop. Man. I remember I was at, um, where were we? Pavilions at Bellamy and Lawrence. Yeah. My uncle was at Markham and, um, Markham and Ellesmere. Okay. It's not that far. <laughs> but, but it's smart. Yeah, you gotta go, like, it's just it's the way they're separating. That's the thing with, 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 with start with compared to downtown. Yeah. It's like the great, the further north you go on the Toronto grid, yeah. the further you're gonna have separated from your east west streets yeah, yeah. versus downtown because everything's more compressed. Yeah. So it's like you can walk between college and Dundas, you can walk from fucking Bloor to Queen Street downtown, and it's, downtown nothing. And it's, it's nothing. nothing. But to, like you said, to make one walk like that, to go from Finch, let's say, to Nielsen, or, or sorry, from Finch to Shepherd on Nielsen Road, yeah. that, yo, man, you it's a wanna, long walk. Yeah. yeah. And that used to be the only way I could get home back in the day because yeah. back in the day to get back up to Scarborough, you'd have to go to Young, take Young all the way up to Finch and take Finch across. So I'd have to walk from Nielsen and Finch to Nielsen and Shepherd at like five, six in the fucking yeah. morning after coming down here to go to an open mic or whatever. You know what I mean? So, and to this day, Scarborough still doesn't have a subway. Yeah, or you know, something like that. Anything like that. Anything like that. that. So, you know you, what I mean? They, they got express buses though, right? right? They got to express, express. express was like shit yeah. though, because if, yeah. you're, not at, if you're not at the meeting yeah. session, you're not stopping for you. Yeah, that's fucked up. That. And then most, most of the buses late night, they don't stop for yeah. you anyways. Yeah. Like, just be like, yeah, fuck, well, just keep going. Unless you're a woman, they'll just keep going. Yeah. And if somehow you catch up to it later on, you're like, yo, bro, like, you missed me. I had to catch a cab and Drew didn't catch you, whatever. You're like, oh, I didn't see you. Mm. Like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. man. So I'm not, I'm not yeah. trying to, if I leave, I leave downtown, I need a ride. There's, there's yeah, yeah. such a drastic difference though. Like, you DJ in the West End and you're coming home at three. Well, maybe it's easier. Yeah. If you're coming home, let's say it's three, you're coming home, the buses are fucking packed. Yeah. Packed till you get to at least Young Street yeah. and a little bit further. You're coming from the East, them buses are MP fucking fuck. dead, dead as fuck. I because there's nothing that. to do in the East yeah. and late at night. But it's just, it's such a huge drastic difference in the city between East End traffic, yeah. West End traffic at three in the morning. Yeah. When you're on like the actual, you know, TTC and shit. 
that's when you always catch the motherfuckers starting fights and puking and all types yeah. of shit. <laughs> like, fuck, you just sit there. You can sit in the back and just roll your blood quiet. And you're like, yo, leave me alone. You're just trying to roll my fucking leg and stay awake. Because <laughs> too many times I've woken up in the fucking, the, the streetcar is docking at the station or whatever. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? You're talking at, at the yard. I docked, one time the guy was in the fucking, in the, yeah, 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 yeah. the um, yard, the streetcar yard. I'm like, how did this happen? Like, how did you? How are we at the fucking yard right now? Like, come on, bro. I think they do that on purpose. That happened to me a few times. Yeah, you see, you're like, fuck you. Yeah, you knocked all the fuck him. Let him, let him, let him, let him. Yo, I saw someone sleeping on the subway, and they called out of service, and they took the subway out of service, and everyone got off, and the person was still on, and it just took off. I'm like, oh, I don't know where that person's going to wake up. That's crazy. Why did you get them up? So, yo, man, like... Alright, so where's, where's, where's the where's the best spot to get your music at live? We're not live, but you know what I mean? Online. I'm on all platforms, you know what I mean? Spotify, Spotify Apple Music. Yeah. Okay, so right now you're dropping new shit, no? Yeah. I'm always dropping new shit, yeah. but right, I got a video dropping with yeah, Jelly Two Fly. We're gonna yeah. drop that oh, track big, called Drip Hop. That's big, yo. Yeah. Um, got a couple tracks out already. Got been doing this for about a year now, so I got about ten tracks. Yeah. A year? Since last January. Oh, okay. So you, from the one, two times you're doing the Freddy Jones? That's when I started. I, like, you just started rapping or you just started... That's when I started saying, okay, let's out. do it. So, yeah, let's okay. put it out. Yeah, no, you don't sound like you just started rapping yesterday. <laughs> so you rap only for a straight. few years, like, yeah, oh, my God, he's uh, rapping. Like, no, oh, man, so. like, I could always rap. Yeah, that's that's yeah. nothing. But then you you're like, literally, like, like, do this. this. I mean, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, yeah, yeah. Next week I'll make Like, even if the music that you have online right now, uh, when yeah. I check those videos, yeah, I'm like, yo, this shit's fire. Yeah. Yeah. And it's different. Yeah. It's not the same type of music. A lot of cats, even if they've been around for a while, they make the same type of music. <laughs> first time. So sad. You went to a wheel all the time. Yeah. Six months. Yeah, man. It looks like it just does. Sorry, man. I'm just freaking. I can't do no more. I'm saying. Yes. I had a little yeah, fun yeah. before I came, so if you could um if you could collab with yeah, any yeah. any artist, you know let me go. Hey, forget the shows, but hey, keep down, keep down. So keep down a little bit okay, slightly. Yeah. But if you could collab with, with any artist, you know what I mean, worldwide, it doesn't matter genre, it doesn't matter where they're located or whatnot. Like, who's your who's your collab with? Man? Don't know to be honest. That's that's a deep one. Yeah, yeah. that's a deep one. <laughs> Especially after the people you mentioned. So like, am I already blown too, or am I gonna Whatever. use this as a feature to get me where I'm trying to be? <laughs> you're running that jam. You're running that jam. You're like, yo, this song will sound perfect with so and so, or they got the hook, or you know what I mean, like. Whatever, it's that, it's that fantasy song. No, I don't have one to be honest. Okay, okay, okay. I just down the line, you probably, you'll probably pick it. No, because I really like so much artists. Yeah. Where it's like, and I have so much different type of variety of music. Yeah. Or I don't just do hip hop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, my feature could be from Cartel when he comes out. Yeah, if he comes out. When he comes yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that whole situation, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, even if you don't come on, it don't matter. Yeah. The one of the tunes he has, I, I, locked you still, up. He's still making tunes. He's still making tunes. I saw, I saw, I saw, I look at documentary where the guards But, it, but if he comes on, it's going to be a problem. Yeah. How, yeah. how does that happen? How, did, how are you allowed as an artist in Jamaica to If still you pay them, you can, you can record. Them the yeah, they have crazy. studio in there. Crazy. But that's not something they do here in, in North America. Though. You got to do your vocals over if you're the If you're somebody big and you're locked up, I'm sure they'll allow nah, it. Nah, they're not going to let you get out. They have rec time in, in jail. So, like, you can go and do, like, what they have. So, yeah. if you're in a high whatever you're at and they have one there or they can move you to one yeah. and you're going to pay them for you being able to use it. Yeah. Money talks. Yeah, I, man. I know they got the tablets and stuff now, but I can't yeah. see them. Like, it's just, it's just weird to me. Like, I can't see them allowing anyone to actually Well, Jamaica's out. different, so they're crooked. Yeah. Any, yeah, anything can go on. No, I know some people just in time in Jamaica, they were like pretty much stuck outside. Like, you mean the way their cell was, like, they, they lived the whole year pretty much outside getting nothing. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, they, their, their experience compared to what I'm seeing with vibes is <laughs> completely different. It always trips me out when I see vibes and he's going to court and a man has white on, and I'm like, How's Where'd you get this there, bro? What the fuck? <laughs> Like, yo, they really treat this man. He's got his sunglasses. I'm like, yo, they really treat this man like a boss up in there. Yeah, like, yeah. the guard, everyone must be just like, yo, whatever you want, you got it. You know what I mean? So, that's yeah, crazy. King Cartel, yo. That's crazy. Would you guys rather be a superstar and do jail in North America or do jail in the third world? Yo, do you know how they treat you, man. Do jail in the third world. 
My thing is this, man. I'm not on this. Yeah, that third world is different still. You know why? Because things that we do in the first world, we pretend like we're better than other people. It's all bullshit. Right. Because right. people in the third world living better than us. Oh, for I don't sure. get better. It's not because they have mashed and stuff. They can pick fruit yeah, yeah, can from a tree and eat exactly. and chill and like they're good. They're healthy. Well, I mean, life life for some people yeah. is all about the constant grind and go, go, go. Yeah. For others, it's more about, you know, just, you know, yeah. just take it as it comes, you know what I mean? Man, that third world thing is just made up by these elites to fucking make it look like those places are pieces of shit. While mm. they still profit off of those places. Oh, for sure. For so sure. it's like you're telling people that place ain't shit, mm. but they're making money off of for it. For sure. For you to think. You can't make money off of it. Oh, there's business. more. There's yeah. more. There's more billionaires in India yeah. than there are in Canada. All the places of the third world is where the elites made their their fucking their riches. Oh, it's the sole resources. It's yeah, they make them. You know what I mean? Like they, they found a way so, to them. Is I mean, it even, even that bad? No, nah, man. I mean, they just they just found a way to exploit. The, but I think that that is kind of the nature of man yeah. and the nature of of commerce in general yeah. is exploitation. Yeah. You know what I mean, like for example. You have $5, yeah. I might have a, have a thing of water. You might see it as you exploiting me to take this water. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I'm, I'm out of this water and I'm looking like, oh, I'm exploiting you for that money. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what, the, whole, the whole thing of it. But there is some unlevel and unfair exploitation in this world. Of course. And, and you know, we're speaking about this virus earlier. Yeah. Exploitation of poor people could be the thing. It might not be the virus that kills us. It could be our exploitation of Chinese people, of yeah. the communist you know, economy and how they can make things that slave yeah. labor. If their factories are shut down, we can't get those things. That could be the thing that yeah. kills us. So ironically, it could be the capital capitalistic system exploiting communism could be the death of capitalism. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's weird how things, things work in synergy. But at the same time, when, when they're out of balance, yeah, it, it, can, it can spell some really bad yeah, shit. Yeah, sure do. That's crazy. It's real crazy, man. Mm -hmm. So you say you've been doing this for a year, so what's, you have like a five year plan, you got um, do you, you have a specific plan like that, or are you sticking to a timeline? I, I have a three year plan right now, and I think within that time, I'm out of here. Okay. Yeah. So three years to get where you want to go or three years and you're done completely? No, no, no. Three years I'm going to get where I need to go because yeah. I don't think I'm going to get it any easier than anybody that had to put work. Right, yeah. But I'm just putting triple the work. Yeah. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. So, yeah. So grinding, grinding that much harder. What's Spe all, put what's, your money where your mouth is. What's the team like? You got a team behind you? I got a couple people I'm working with right now. I got shooting stars I'm working with. She's helping put out some stuff for me and contact people. Stuff. Yeah. I got okay. my boy Shredded Fitness. Word, Shout yeah. out Shredded Fitness. Yeah. Are you working with Drake? Yeah. Okay. I swear, like, I, there, was, there was some fitness group here in Toronto, and, and they have a different, a few different like IGs he, and whatnot. He's not necessarily like, working directly, but mm. people that are working with him working. are working with him. Gosh, gotcha, so, gosh. Gotcha. Nothing's too far in Scarborough, anyways. You yeah, already know. Yeah, that's yeah. It. yeah so nah, that's, that's, that's what it is. But that's who I'm working with right now. Those are the two that are helping me get my stuff out there. Okay. Proper, and, proper. Yeah, those are day ones. Okay, yeah. yeah. Proper. So shout out to the stars and Shredder Fitness, man. That's what's up. Hit them up, you know what I mean? And hit them up on IG, hit them up on social media, social platforms, and you know what I'm saying? Let them know what's, what's popping, man. Okay, dope. So one year in, that year went the way you, you felt it should have. Was there anything you didn't get accomplished within that year, or you didn't mm. check off all the boxes within that timeline so far? Um, I'm a Libra, so we like results quick. And. Mm. I was hard on myself, but then when I actually sat back and looked at the first day I posted my track when nobody heard it, to the amount of people who know me now, yeah. how could I have not done nothing? Yeah. You've done something. Give yourself some credit yeah. and keep Rock, working. Yeah, give yourself some time. You know? Yeah. If it's even, even if it's one day to like three years, it's time. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. gonna, eventually things are going to pick up. No, I, I like yeah. that because a lot of people, I, I feel like they just jump into this and feel as though... They're gonna be the shit yeah. instantly, and they don't realize it's like you gotta work to get there. Definitely. You know what I mean? There's a lot of work that goes into this. Definitely. Like, yeah, you might have friends, you might have family, but at the end of the day, you can't just rely on your friends and your family to get you no. where you gotta go. You gotta network, and you gotta build relationships. It's like ten percent music and ninety yeah. percent business. That's it. Dang. That was actually one of the things that um one of my teachers at Travis stressed so much is like this industry is literally. 10% talent, 
90% relationships, 90% business. You yeah. gotta make your business an art, your art business. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's dope that you said it. And, and I think, to be honest with you, um, the most important thing that I learned, and you, you kind of said it, just not that way, um, but the most important thing that I learned, you know what I mean, and, and as I grow in this industry and move along, it's not who you know, it's who knows you. If right. somebody doesn't know who you are, yeah. then really, like you can know everybody in the world, <laughs> but if you're not gonna say they know you, then you don't know yeah, shit. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? So you gotta make the people know who, who you, you are. are so that when an opportunity pops up, you're the first person they right. go to. And the fact that you had probably name and that, number. That was my crazy. step for the first year, was branding the name. Ah, even if you don't like my music or if you never yeah. heard of the music, yeah. right. I want you to say that if somebody says private name, private number to you, right, right. I heard him. Yeah. I can't tell you what he looks like, yeah. I can't tell you a song from him, but I heard the name before. Yeah, yeah. yeah I ain't making no fucking fun. It's a genius marketing and fucking uh, like marketing it because, you know, because you know, it's a private name, private number, and you don't even show your face, so that's dope. You can be anybody. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I don't answer my phone when I see that shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, private, oh, private who? I don't know what the fuck that is. I'm not answering. Yeah, I'm going to keep it real. I put my phone on silent about eight years ago and haven't taken that shit outside. Yeah, I don't blame <laughs> you, man. <laughs> sure. Get to it when you get to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly, man. I look, I'm Mr. Carl, I'm Mr. Carl, yeah. man. Yeah, I'm that important. Get out of here. The thing, the thing is, we live in a society where our phones are in our hands so much anyway. Yeah. You don't need your ringer or but your you can get your you can get in trouble for your own phone. Like yeah. I called you, why didn't yeah. you answer? Yeah. yeah. Who said I had my phone with me? Should like why, why am I yeah. bound to my phone because I own one? Yeah. Now, now let me ask y'all. Do you guys actually like call people nowadays or just text only? Because I find myself 99% of the time doing text. I called yeah. my stepmom today to wish her happy birthday. Yeah. But you know what I mean? I could have just as easily sent her a fucking text. Yeah, because, but I just want to make it more. Depends on the person. If I'm trying to vibe, I'm going to call you. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? If I'm just saying something quick, I just send a text. Yeah. But there's some some of my niggas I call and we're on the phone for like two hours. Yeah. Just politicking on some next shit or motivation shit or, or music links. I find I call now because I got the whip and I got, I got the, yeah. the speakerphone. So if I'm driving after I drop wifey off or whatever, yeah. I'll call someone, yo, what up, da da da. Mm -hmm. Other than that, like, I'm just sending text messages. No, it's like nobody yeah. talks anymore. Yeah, yeah. We talk, we talk. <laughs> so, and that's bad though because you can't tell what somebody, right. you can't tell like their emotional state right. when you get a text. So you might get a text and be like, yo, why are you talking to me like that? And not even know the context of the text. Like, yo, there was no malice with that. I wasn't even that. saying it like that. But then when you can get into like, oh, word, this guy's good, and not even realize, yo, dude's pissed. <laughs> you, know, so you gotta sit there and read the text and be like, hmm, what's his state of mind like right now? Is he angry? Is he good? Like, where the fuck we at relationship? And you don't know. You know, that was, there's no punctuation here. You might be mad. Oh, cat's fuck. I'm a shit. You know what I mean? Like, you just don't know anymore. Yeah. It's, it's crazy, man. But that's what happens with, uh, with the day and age that we live in. You know what I mean? We're quickly advancing. It's like, you know, you go back and watch The Wire and they're using pagers and shit in that. You know what I mean? Like, I love The Wire, but I was just thinking about that earlier. It's like, man, that show's aging. We try to go back and watch that. And these guys got pagers. Wire, yeah. yeah watch Wire? No, I haven't watched that. Man, here's a, we got we got I heard about it. Though. I heard about it. Okay, we got to do a whole episode on like classic black shows that Mike has never seen. Man, you ever seen Wire? Anything you like this? Anything from like 2004? Yeah. To now, I didn't. I don't. I stopped watching TV in 2004. I feel like the Wire. The Wire was so on. Dave first. Chappelle, I didn't watch all that yeah. shit. All See, that was the same, I was supposed to say next. This yeah. guy has never seen the really Chappelle care, show. That's crazy. I don't really care, though. But the whole thing No, 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 no. You can't not care about that. <laughs> Everything I watched prior to that is a precursor to his show. I feel you. I feel like Chris Rock show. Like Chris Rock show. Um, fucking yes and no. He just put a spin on it. Yeah, he put a spin on it. But yeah. I'm saying everything was a precursor to that show. Man. Yeah. I already saw it without watching it. I feel like, like a lot of, <laughs> of shit show. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of shit with Chappelle show. Like, why I always surprised me is because it's so fucking culturally relevant. Yeah. Even to this day, yeah. some of the shit he did on that show yeah. is still fucking yeah. culturally relevant. Like the race, the race um, trading. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when he had the guys yeah. Wu-Tang oh, and yeah. Was it? Yeah, Wu-Tang yeah, Wu was in that. And most of was in that. And they're trading people from races. They're like, yo, We'll give you da, 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 for, um, for Eminem. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. The Wu Tang Financial, that shit was fucking like, no, crazy. No, no, right? But the no, R. Kelly, yeah. all piss on yeah. you. Like, that's why to me, I was always shocked that it took until this last is, yeah. year for people to start banning R. Kelly. And I'm like, hold on, man. Like, did y'all not remember when Chappelle made the whole I'll piss on you yeah. fucking song? And when the video was actually out circulating, we're all like 20 years old. Like, why are you just now kicking this dude out of your yeah. life? When this shit happened. 15 years ago, you know what I mean? 
But Chappelle's show is definitely a very socially relevant, yeah. culturally relevant yeah. show. You need to watch Chappelle's show. But I feel, uh, too, I feel like if I watch it, if I would, I'm not gonna be surprised. I'm gonna be like, okay, that's cool. No, you're gonna no, laugh. No, yeah. You're gonna no. fucking laugh. I know, I know. There's a difference between, I there's a difference myself, between Chappelle's show and yeah. other comedy shows. Yeah. Like, yeah. You yeah. Want to, like, there's like the Key and Peele. It was yeah. alright. Yeah. It was all right. But that first episode of Chappelle yeah. Show, especially yeah. the KKK skit, oh my god. There's a bunch of them. But it's the Ku Klux Klan skit, huh? that one blew my fuck. Yeah, snippets on YouTube. Yes. Yeah. That blew my fuck. Like, yeah. just seeing that, that yeah. skit, the, um, that one blew my fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it was over. The real world one. Oh, Charlie shit. Charlie Murphy. Yeah, Charlie Murphy. But when they did the real world, like, they fucking, they spoofed it and shit. Yeah, they buried it. Like, my thing is, like that was the real world. The real yeah. world. I remember watching that when when Heather B was on it. The first oh, word. Shout out Heather B. You know, you know the first episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You remember that show though? Yeah, yeah. She was on it, right? Yeah, yeah. So, like, so for world him spoofing it like 90s. ten years later. Yeah. It's like for every month, I watched that already. <laughs> like I, I get it. The spoof. Right? Yeah. But it's not like it's not like. I, I feel like I didn't miss out missing all that shit. You kind of did, though. You did it, but you did it. Yeah. Only because somebody's going to reference it and you're not going to understand. So a joke can go right over your head. Yeah. yeah. But no, but <laughs> man, yeah. stories. Like, the Charlie Murphy stories alone were fucking great. Like, yeah. they're classic. Like, but one thing is, my Sorry. thing is, yeah, from old four onwards, I realized I didn't need to watch TV no more. I feel like I on TV. I just missed it. Wrong. So I was like, fuck it, my, my head is clear. And everyone's just like talking about TV shows and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I think I watched enough TV in my life. Where did Maloney go? Now I only catch things online if I, I catch it. Yeah, I don't take it out of long, You got, you got stuck, huh? I gotta check on them. We usually do an hour and a half. Yeah, we usually do yeah, about, about an hour and a half. So we yeah, got, got another, another, another 20 minutes or so. Yeah, right, right, I have to so. fly out soon. I have okay, to go okay. meet Kelly Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you know, you know, like today. Yeah. Yeah. What's up to you? Right, 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 no, is he doing the bar thing after? Man, oh, I have no idea. You probably will. <laughs> you supposed to jump on that? I don't know. No well, I will say this though. One thing about Maloney is he's super consistent. I can see over there. There's a computer screen you can't see over there. And I think we had a bit of a conversation last week on what Will Smith's greatest song was. Yeah. I love the fact that time. Maloney rides summertime. And like almost every week that I come over yeah. here, this guy will find some point in time to play summertime. Or there's that one master ace track that, that Maloney will play forever in a yeah. fucking day. You're like, God damn, man. I got his master ace track you again. Yeah, hip hop. Hip-hop. Yeah, but I was a fucking hip hop head. Like, as far as like, especially when it comes to memorizing other people's lyrics, like I can't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll memorize lyrics to, like certain songs, and if I don't hear that shit for a certain amount of time, like I, I forget totally it. forget. Yeah. Unless it's still matter, because yeah. that's my shit. You know what I mean? Like, there's even some of my own lyrics. If I don't spit that track for like six months, I'll fucking forget. Yeah. It. This motherfucker will remember lyrics from fucking 15 years ago to the most obscure track. I'm yeah. sure he'll remember lyrics from like Daddy IU tracks and shit. Like, uh, bro, I haven't heard that shit in 25 fucking yeah. years. And he'll know all the fucking lyrics. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how he does it. I don't know what his, how he associates. Like, I gotta play games to memorize shit. I gotta associate it with something. You know what I mean? So I'll forever be able to memorize shit. This motherfucker, he'll just randomly remember lyrics and lyrics and lyrics. And I was like, dude, how the fuck did you do that? Gone, Maloney's M.I.A. I think he, I think, I think I know him. He's part of the, 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 the thing. Okay. Oh. It wasn't. Maloney vanished, okay. he just um, dip, disappeared on us. It's all good, though. Uh, nice, mm. man. Ten. Ten of them? Yeah. We got, got Frozes over here. He's on the camera. Okay. okay. But yeah. shout out Frozes. Yo, Bro's I'll, the type I'll, of guy who will kick you, kick you in the dick until you vomit. Stop it. I'm, yeah. I, I'm not even gonna lie. Like that was the dopest, dopest freestyle I ever heard from you. That shit was fired. But yeah. that opening line, I'll get it. I, somebody, I, I, somebody, I got somebody got it. You on the internet? Oh, yeah, we're posting yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I didn't mind. I didn't mind whatsoever, man. Look up to this man said yeah, you were yeah, disrespecting yeah, hip hop. Yeah. Like, I don't know, just fun? <laughs> yeah. Whatever. You chill, bro. Like, yeah, we're just having fun here. Yeah. The conversation's but, serious. We'll make it serious. But, 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 no, but that's part of the reason why you don't hear shit from me. Why? 
because it's like I don't want to ignite people to fucking all this politics. No, but that's just what like, the internet the does. Regardless yeah. if you do something or not, yeah. you can just take a selfie right. and they're gonna have right. something but, to say. But right. things, if I stay in the background and I push the culture forward, eventually there's gonna be 20 people that are shouting me out and they're like, "Why is this guy in LA and this guy's in China and this guy's in Japan?" They're well, all you know what the me. fucked up part mm-hmm. is? He's like, he's like, "Oh, he's a rapper." He's not. <laughs> He, he's a promoter, not a rapper. He just started rapping. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, no, he had a nice did. flow. Yeah. I like the flow. <laughs> most of it. Yeah. That's how most, most of us started. Like, we yeah. didn't start, we just decided, like, oh, I'm going to be a rapper. Most of us started because we were probably freestyling on a block where yeah. I'm like, yo, I can, I can kind of do this shit. Yeah, what if yeah. I concentrate a little bit and put a little bit of time and effort into this and then, yeah, you know, man. sit there and write how long you've been doing this shit, man. Boom, you know? It doesn't matter how long you've been doing this. You could be doing this forever. Some guy could come on. Next day, whether he's he's spitting something that's already written for him or not, that's what it is. That's no. what it, that's what it's about. No doubt. No, 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 that's what it is. You, you got to be but, rapping for five five de- decades for you to be respected. But, but yeah. rap is also like wrestling. There's gimmicks involved, right? Yes. Yeah. This a lot of the name private number. This is a whole gimmick, right? Oh, sorry, yeah. yes. No, but this stands yes, out. Yes, that right? is yeah. gimmick. Like, all of a sudden, you're like, why does this guy look like he's wearing a flying saucer? <laughs> no. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah. You know, this man it, it, at least you mentioned me. Yeah, exactly. No, exactly. Uh, See, this man uh, understands uh, marketing. I've already seen this next to the next door in the weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, the fact that you see took it. a name, you took, like, private name, private number, and you said, I'm not even going to show my face. Like, that's marketing in and of itself right there. The the, the non-showing of the face matches the mm-hmm. non-telling of the name. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, remember the weekend? Remember yeah, the whenever weekend first came Nobody knew who he was. Yeah. He didn't give out many interviews. The thing that, there's two things that made the weekend blow up. One was cocaine. Actually, three things. <laughs> One was cocaine. Two was white girls who like cocaine. Yeah. And three was the fact that he did it old school. He knew how to play it up to like, I'm not giving interviews. I'm not showing my face. I'm making this shit a mystery. People don't do that shit no more. Because in, in, in our day and age, it's so fucking hard to do that, right? So the way he did that whole rollout and then he did his first three like mixtapes, that shit was fucking genius in and of itself. But let's be honest. I love The weekend. I love those mixtapes. Those mixtapes were like the House of Balloons. They were fucking dope. Mm-hmm. But... Cocaine sold the shit out of them. You know what I mean? Like affiliating it with the cocaine and you know whatever. Like the I don't know what it was. There was a lot of cocaine circulating in the city five years ago, and motherfuckers were eight, whatever it was. Face. People loved it. And yeah, the, and then the guy goes out and wins uh, wins kids' choice for putting out a song about being so fucking blown out of his mind that he can't feel his fucking face. That song wasn't about being in love with a girl. That song was about being in love oh, with yeah. that white girl. Yeah, okay, so yeah, that's how it goes, man. But even even before that, you had groups like Gym Class Hero who were putting out fucking um. They had a song called White Girl back in the day, totally talking about cocaine and shit. It's just, it's such a fucking weird thing. Me personally, I've never done cocaine. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't speak for anyone else. Yeah. I've never done it. I grew up in a family that, you know what I'm saying, like some people had to sell that shit and they made a lot of money and some people were way too fucked up on that shit and they lost a lot of money. But I don't know what it is. Cocaine is a weird fucking drug. People glamorize the shit out of that fucking drug, man. Yeah. It's weird. But. Mm. You got a dope marketing plan, weekend in this fucking thing. And when it comes to this hip hop thing, there's so many different things. Like, you can either be a literary genius, a la Anas, mm-hmm. Eminem, or you can be totally fucking non, almost non verbal, yeah. and just rap like a Gucci man mm-hmm. and kill. There's so many different ways to attack this shit. You can't just look at someone and say, you fucking suck, that you need to be doing this for X amount of time, because at the end of the day, there's thousands of ways to skin a cat, there's yeah. thousands of ways to fucking approach a track, and there's thousands of ways to fucking attack a mic. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's all about, what I find is confidence. If you look confident, you sound confident, people are gonna be like, yo, that dude's dope. Yeah. If you get up there and you're shaky, you're <laughs> creepy, you're like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you walk there and you're confident, people are like, oh, oh, all right, word, this guy's dope. Mm-hmm. You know, that's, that's it, man, confidence. So, you know, anyone gets some frozen for doing this shit, man, you need to chill with that shit, frozen kill that shit. And if you don't stop it, I'm gonna kick you in your dick until you find it. That's what's up. That's true. <laughs> yeah. I broke my foot. <laughs> <laughs> so what's what's popping up? You working on like a full EP, full LP? Well, EP's a little fun. We're gonna EP, working on an LP. I'm working on, on that. Right so right now I got a bunch of tracks out, but I put them out just for like feedback. I need okay. that track that's gonna be 
that one track I'm going to push for the six months or for the year that's going to be that track. So you're still working on that one? That means no, I have it. I just okay. got to release it for you guys. But I want to release it properly. I don't want to release it and it's not saying what it's supposed to be saying. Gotcha. gotcha. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So you're basically it's going to be one where it's like put a little bit more money behind that one. Let Figure percolate. out where to put the money. Because everybody's telling you to send your money. Right. But is it going to the right place? Gotcha. Is it going to make a difference when you send your money there? Yeah, yeah, right. so we need to talk after the camera's off. <laughs> no, I feel you want that, man. Gotcha. Yeah. You want that. This guy. And a lot of people don't even know, man, like, aka Side Hustle. Side Hustle. Oh. Side Hustle Frozen. So, mm -hmm. like, I was talking about that, that girl who gave the Dance Monkey song, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you guys heard that Dance Monkey, Dance Monkey track or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, so, so it's a big pop tune right now, right? It's this girl from Australia, she kind of, bigger girl, she kind of have like an Adele type sound or whatever. But what I didn't know is that she started as a busker. So the song was written about people saying shit to her as a busker on the street. Yeah. Yo, she been working this song for over a year. Yeah. It's probably the biggest song in the world right now, one of the biggest songs, but she been working it for over a year. Yeah. And I don't feel like people in our industry do that enough. It's they don't like, get it. Release it. If people don't, if I don't get a million hits within a week, fuck mm. it, move on. You know what I mean? It's like sometimes you that's what that things said too. He was Fetty Wap? So yeah. He pushed Tra Trap Queen for two years. Right. That's why blue. Right. One of the biggest records he's been pushed for at least a year or two Fetty. years. Yeah. yeah. And even before he when he started, uh, best ever had. Yeah. He would go and he would perform the song three times in a row. The first time you don't know what it is, you bop your head. The second time you yeah. caught the hook. The third time you're already singing the whole chorus. In the same show. You know, that's what I'm saying. People don't do that <laughs> shit, right? <laughs> But that's literally by the third time, yeah, you, know you know the, the words, song. like, you know, yeah. Pussy Wiz or Andy Griffin, like, <laughs> so, like, laid back, but that's how what he used to do. So, let me ask you something, Frozen. You're Jewish, right? Yeah. Is Drake the Jewish God? <laughs> it's not the name for, like, for Jewish people. Like, do, do other, you know what I'm saying, like, does he, is, is he a hero to y'all? Like, I don't know. I don't really see it, because I don't see anybody that's, like, Jewish that's been influenced and taking that stage, really. Like, like, this is like 10 years. Sorry, little Dicky's Jewish. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Right? But, like, there's nobody that's got that swag that's coming up. That's, uh, so Drake doesn't match it? Like, he's got, he's the king of the shit, right? <laughs> but, like, so as a representative really of Jewish people, I don't really think, like, maybe when you're 13 at your bar mitzvah. Yeah. Like, I like the video, like, little video where you get the bar mitzvah. Yeah. Bar mitzvah. Yes. You got a remix too, like, when he. <laughs> But that's the thing, he used to get paid stack just to perform at Barbie Sports. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Alright, man. Um, Alright, we should probably get this, lock this down, shut it down. This game is a little bit late. And, um, you know, it's about that time. You know what I mean? We're going to end it off for the week. So, before we get out of here, before we dip out, anything like that, yeah. what's uh, what's your team? Yeah. I'm going to link you just now, brother. Ah. Uh, what you say, man? What's what's year two looking like for um? You know what I'm saying? Year two? Yeah. Year two is more work. Like put it in the right places and get the right features. Like I'm ready to put the bread, but I want to make sure that feature is worth my bread. Gotcha. What? Gotcha. Yeah. So I think it's the feature and the single right now. So Froze is on the next single then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> show why. This yeah, right. look, what cities in like Ontario you looking forward to? You know what I mean? There's a few cities that. You know that let us like do our thing, and you're at a level where like, you know what I mean? Is any looking forward to or any? Shit I'm like looking forward to any city that shows love. Like I've been to St. Catharines; they're nice out oh, there. St. Catharines gives it up. Yeah, yeah. man, St. Catharines, Hamilton, but um. All these small towns, I, I would love to take a little tour or arrange a little tour, so but to get, get the name and the fans months. up first. Like, all right. So if anyone's watching this who's out of town right now, booking, booking agents or people who are putting on any shows, festivals for the future, what's your contact? They can get in touch with so they can make sure that you actually get those opportunities for out of town shows. You can get at me on IG, private name underscore private number, or you can get oh. at Layla Star, Shooting Stars, on IG. Okay. That's what's up. So get at my man. You know what I mean? He wants to get out there. He wants to touch up some of these smaller Ontario towns. Um, Ontario or all of Canada? All of Canada, man. Okay. All across the world. Bro. And the States. We can leave Canada where I'm not stuck you know here. Alright, you know what? I want to <laughs> do, you know, do you know DT? Huh? Do you know DT? Uh, no. Who is that? DT, DT the artist? No, I don't think so. Alright, it's my cousin. I feel like I gotta hook you up with him. He's, like, he might be... He's home now. I saw him last night, but I feel like he's only home for like maybe a month out of the year. You yeah, know what he's, he's always, he's always on the road, whether 
whether it's over in Europe, whether it's down south, yeah. whatever. So he'd be somebody that I'd recommend that you um link up with or at least try to try to network with online. I'd love to, you man. You know what I mean? Because like I said, he's just he's, he's always he's always on the go, always on the grind, and that's if if you're like minded, yeah. You know, so you want to surround yourself with like minded people. Definitely. Great, great people surround themselves with great people, and great things happen. You know definitely. What I mean? Yep. So definitely try. To I'd like that. So What's up, man? Year two. You know what I mean? It's more grinding, more hustle, get that single out, you know, play the long game. Yeah. And do those road shows. That's it, man. That's it, man. <laughs>